Hi Cancer, how are you? This is going to be your March reading. I hope you had a good February so far and um, I hope you are looking forward to March. Now before I get into the tarot portion of the reading, I'm just going to tell you a few things that are happening with the planets in the month of March. So we have Mercury going direct on March 10th, uh, but it's still linger in its shadow period for about a week or so after the fact. So really, um, the effects of the retrograde will still be felt pretty much all throughout March. So, you know, like the same things that I said for February applies for March, which is, uh, which are, you know, pay attention to contracts. Don't rush into signing contracts. Communication is key. If you're unsure about something or if you have doubts about something, it's really better to clarify and ask versus assuming that somebody says, um, versus assuming that something that somebody said is what you think it is versus really clarifying it with them firsthand what they actually meant. Um, also, you know, like allow yourself a little extra room to get to appointments, to get to meetings, to get to trains and transportation. Um, check with your car, with your vehicles, that everything's in check, that you have your license. You know, yeah, check your licenses. For some of you, your licenses might expire. And uh, yeah, you don't want to get pulled over with this expired license. So please do check that. Um, and then the other big aspect that's happening is Saturn moves into Aquarius. Um, so depending on what um, house Aquarius sits in for you and where Saturn is transiting, like what you know, like what house that is in. I think that's really for the next two and a half years. Those are really the lessons that will be front and center for you. Um, Saturn is a planet of slow but surely getting you to build things, build structures, build foundations, really uh, showing you where you are responsible, not responsible enough, and kind of showing you what responsibility means. You know, not taking things for granted as well. So, um, yeah, that's a really, really um, tough one, I feel like. It also can be sometimes stifling, too, because let's say when Saturn moves into the, let's say if you have Aquarius in your fifth house, you know, and Saturn moves in there, I think it might be also a time that it might either stifle certain relationships or it might be even harder for you to, like, meet somebody new or to start something new you know with somebody just because it really wants you to make sure that what you want is really worth it for you or like something you know like something that you like in a relationship for you to figure out what you want in a relationship first before you really get something you know so it's like so you don't have to like it's almost like it wants you to or it's a um how should i put this it's um, saving you the heartache from getting into a relationship that is just going to be like a few, you know, very uh, spur of the moment thing that, you know, might be pleasant for like a short, a, a week or so. But then you're going to be like, oh my God, you know, this was not something I wanted, you know, so it's kind of saving you the heartache of that. Um, but I'm going to leave this at that uh, and I'm going to go into the toilet portion for you. So Cancer, let's see what's happening for you. King of Cups. I like that. I think it's a little, Three of Cups. It's some really good times for you guys. Um, I think it's going to be a lot of nurturing time for you. Um, you being off for somebody else, for your friends, for your community, and or for other people being that for you. There's a lot of love around. I feel like there's definitely a lot of love around to be shared and to be um, given. So the beginning, of, in the beginning of the month, especially with the King of Cups and the Three of Cups, it's really good times ahead. <laughs> it's like really good times ahead. You know, it's just like feeling happy, feeling joyful, feeling fulfilled. Everything's just going everything your way. And there's a lot of... Uh, uh, reasons to celebrate, a lot of reasons to get together with friends. Um, maybe you know a lot of people that are born in March, so maybe you'll be going to a lot of birthdays. Um, you know, but regardless of the fact, I feel like there's a lot of good stuff happening that would really charge your batteries in the beginning of the month. Um, the other thing too, it might be for a small group of you, that might there's a lot of emotional strength that will be required of you. 
especially when it comes to community and friends. So I don't know, maybe somebody will want um, you be in a position that you have to be the rock for somebody or be like that support system for somebody uh, in your group of friends or your family um, or just uh, really kind of almost like um, knowing what you want. Because like I keep like being drawn to how the king is pouring this cup. So it's like him giving a part of himself, you know, so it's like that nurturing part. Also, it's I think it's a uh, time for not to be mature and really just be like emotionally responsible and emotionally stable. Because like I said, you know, it could go either it could be like you can have a lot of fun times, but also don't overdo it. Don't get into excess. Um, now, interestingly enough, at the end, like uh, the middle of the month, 10 to 15th, we have the Six of Swords moving into the Five of Pentacles reversed. So I kind of like this, especially coming from the beginning of the month of like the King of Cups with the Six, uh, with the Three of Cups. So I feel to me it's more like moving, you're finally moving into... Um, I feel like there's there was so much support felt and so much love felt that you're really ready and to move like to a better territory and to something that's like, oh my God, it's not as bleak as I thought. There is still hope at the end of the tunnel. There is something to be grateful for. And then not only that, but like in this card, see like how this person is getting the help of this person. So it's like, I feel that's, that's what you need in the beginning of the month. So really do spend time with your friends and really... Um, Share the love that you have and, you know, be there for them because I feel somebody really needs um, some encouragement here to either leave a situation that wasn't worthwhile or it's even you spending the time with your friends and get the encouragement will give you the strength to leave a situation that was really rotten, that was really unfulfilling, that was, you know, like just not working out for you. And then look at this, you got the sun. So for some of you, it could also be maybe like a thing of maybe you're trying to get pregnant. And then for all like the first um, 10 days of the month, you're like, you know, forget it. Like, I'm not going to push it. I'm not going to rush it. I'm just going to really be grateful for what I have and what it's just forget about what I don't have, you know, just focus on what I have. And then all of a sudden, boom, here you are and you get pregnant. Um, but others of you, the sun is like, it's almost saying like, you know, like I said, good times ahead. And like, you know, by having the strength to leave something behind that wasn't working for you, you like telling the universe that I'm ready for something better. And then here we go. It just shows up for you. Now, I'm really curious about the six of pentacles, but it could also be that it's this energy of like, again, leaving something behind that wasn't working, that wasn't unfair, that wasn't balanced. And really, it's more like somebody more is giving more than the other. But let me just clarify and see what is going on there. The moon. Okay, so I feel like it's, um, you know, so it's like this imbalanced energy. But it's because, um, it's funny because you have the sun and the moon here too. It's like the total opposites, right? One of the other. And then here too, it's like the opposites. The give and the take. So I feel like... Um, in a way, you like having this positive energy and having this sense of renewal of like, you know what, like I really have so much and things are actually starting happening and then there's so much love around that you like, you know what, where, where are other things I can do to help others? I feel like this is more like you, um, where can I be of help or maybe even you asking yourself like where have I been selfish? Where have I been like, uh, reserved and not really showing my true self and not really giving my true self to others because the moon also and it could also be your card too um you know it's, i feel but yeah i think it's really it's like more it's like where have i been selfish you know and then how can i give back to my to the community to people around me to my loved ones you know um, and I think this is more like it's going to happen more on a subconscious level than on a conscious level because the moon, it's like it really deals with things, you know, like in our subconscious and things that we keep hidden. So maybe it's like also a lot of things that once you get into this energy of like being grateful and things are like in so much love and so much abundance that, you know, like the other things that will come to light in the sense of like where you have where that has not been the case 
or where can that be improved you know or where you can be that for somebody else so overall i think a really positive positive reading for you but let me pull an oracle card and see um what the additional message is for you for the month of march let's see council group meetings and advisors yeah um you know like i said in the beginning it's just to spend time with friends spend time with people and just really because i feel like a lot of people um march is a tough time because it's like right in that transition month right between um winter and spring so it's just um you know things um a lot of emotional time it's also time of pisces right so it's a lot of like that emotional baggage that people deal with or is trying to deal with and it's like to getting themselves ready from like that winter energy into the spring energy from like a time of like um pause and uh hibernation into a time of like moving forward in renewal and creation and um just that you know abundance of new life so yeah cancer i feel like this is going to be a very nurturing month for you both for you and you being that for others so i'm really excited for you um, but I'll leave you at that. And if this uh, message resonated with you, please like and share the video. Now, if you want to hear what the next month has in store for you, you can always subscribe to my channel. And um, if you have any comments, leave me a comment in the section below. So yeah, looking forward to hearing from you and I'll see you in April. Okay. Bye cancer.